welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Marisa Talbert. I am the founder and CEO of Talbert Law Office, your favorite go-to legal resource for all things business, nonprofit, and intellectual property law. So I'm sure many of you have heard of the concept of becoming your own bank. Generally, when this concept is spoken of, it's in reference to infinite banking, which involves using a cash value life insurance policy as a line of credit. But in order to take advantage of infinite banking, you have to first find an eligible life insurance policy. Second, you have to purchase that policy. And third, you have to pay enough of the premium on that policy for it to reflect an actual cash value that you can withdraw from. And if you don't already have all of that in place, you're not going to get that in place within a day or two. But one of the advantages of owning your own business is the option to borrow and lend money from and to your business. So today I want to talk about how to become your own bank by borrowing money from your business. Now you have to make sure that when you borrow money from your business, you do so properly so that you don't trigger an audit or major tax penalties. Before we jump in with both feet, I want to clarify that this specific video is going to be focused on borrowing money from your LLC. And the reason why I'm focusing on the LLC is because the corporate structure is a lot easier to do this with, but the LLC is where many people get mixed up because of the way an LLC is taxed. Okay, if you'd like me to do how to borrow money from your business as a corporation, I'm happy to do that video as well. Just type corporation down in the comments and I'll know that you want me to also do a video on how to borrow money from your corporation. But the LLC gets people in trouble. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So first I wanna mention three ways that you can receive money through your business. And we'll build upon this throughout the discussion. So number one, in an LLC, you can earn wages through an owner's draw. Because an LLC defaults to being taxed as a sole proprietorship, if your LLC is being taxed that way, you as the owner cannot also be an employee. So an owner's draw is where you basically write a check from the business, from the LLC, to you as an individual, and that's how you pay yourself. So as I mentioned, number one is you can earn wages through an owner's draw. Number two is you could pay yourself through a distribution. A distribution generally looks like a bonus, but it's basically taking a cut of the LLC's profits. The difference between an owner's draw and a distribution is generally the owner's draw is going to be recurring similar to a salary. So you may take an owner's draw every two weeks or once a month. And the distribution is usually a one-time situation, such as a Christmas bonus. And the third way that you can receive money through your business is through a loan. So these three ways of receiving money from your business is important to note because a loan is not taxable by the IRS. However, an owner's draw and a distribution is deemed to be compensation and those are taxable. So if you don't follow the steps properly to borrow money from your business, the IRS can reclassify your loan, which is not taxable, as either an owner's draw or a distribution, which is taxable. And then that may trigger having to pay taxes, maybe even penalties, fines, and interest on the money that you borrowed. All right, so here are the steps that you need to follow if you want to properly borrow money from your LLC. Number one is to consider whether your LLC is a single member LLC or a multi-member LLC. If your LLC is a multi-member LLC, then you need to obtain the approval of the other members in order to take out a loan. Number two, if you are a single member LLC and you are taxed in the default status of a sole proprietorship, you generally don't need to take out a loan necessarily. You can take the money that you need either as a distribution or as an owner's draw as you would your regular pay. However, if you are a single member LLC or a multi-member LLC that has elected to be taxed as an S corporation, then you need to follow these particular steps. Number one is you need to draft valid minutes that reflect the authorization of the loan. And yes, you need to do this even if you are the sole owner 
of the business. Not having your paper trail in order can get you in big trouble. So don't skip this step just because you think it's not important. It doesn't matter until it does. So make sure that you have written authorization from the owners of the business allowing you to take out a loan from the business. Number two, you need to document the withdrawal of the loan along with a legally enforceable promissory note. Just like you'd get if you were taking out a loan from an FDIC insured bank or financial institution. Your promissory note doesn't have to be as long and drawn out, but you should have a promissory note. The promissory note should include the specific amount of the loan, the interest that is being charged, a repayment schedule, and a description of any collateral or guarantees that are backing the loan. Number three, you need to ensure that you are charging yourself an interest rate. The rule of thumb is to charge yourself the federal rate that the IRS uses for delinquent balances, which is currently right around 3%. Number four, you need to record this transaction on your corporate books and any financial statements as a loan. Number five, you need to make your payments in accordance with the promissory note and ensure that the loan is repaid in a timely manner. Don't just be skipping out on your payments in a way that doesn't reflect a true debtor-creditor relationship. Because again, the IRS can reclassify your loan as a distribution or an owner's draw that then will trigger you to pay taxes on that amount that you borrowed. Just remember that a loan from your business is not the same as an advance payment. The IRS determines a loan based on intent. It's a loan if the borrower has an unconditional intent to repay and if the business has an unconditional intent to collect repayment. Now, after a certain amount of time, you could allow your business to forgive the loan, but know that if there is loan forgiveness, then the IRS will classify that as compensation to you for however much was forgiven on the loan. And again, you'll have to pay taxes on the amount that was forgiven. So you may be asking, if you have to go through all of these steps to take out a loan from your own business, why not just take out a commercial bank loan? So here are three reasons why you may choose to borrow money from your business as opposed to taking out a commercial bank loan. It's a much faster way to access capital if you have a cash flow business. Secondly, you may have enough cash flow, but insufficient credit to get qualified for a loan through a traditional bank or a financial institution. And last but not least, borrowing money from yourself doesn't affect or dilute your ownership in any way, as it could be with some of the other types of traditional lending options. Well, that's all I have for this video and I hope it was helpful. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend. As always, this is Talbert Law Office, your favorite go-to legal resource for all things business, nonprofit, and intellectual property law. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. I made it this far.